15 new features in MIUI 12. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you 15 new features which Xiaomi has added with MIUI 12. As you can see, I do have the MIUI 12 beta version 20.4.27 running on my Redmi K20 Pro. The first new feature is new animations. So you have new animations as soon as you unlock your device and these animations continue throughout the system when you open an application when you close an application you have a bunch of new animations next up we have new gestures so they have implemented android 10 gestures which can be found in settings and then you can go into additional settings full screen display make sure you enable the full screen gestures and then by default you will have this bar at the Bottom. however in case you want to disable this bar you'll have to again go back into settings and additional settings full screen display enable the toggle to hide the full screen indicator and bam there it is the bar has now disappeared and we do have Android 10 gestures working like a boss on this build then you have the new UI and the new font so this is how your UI looks like you do have a new font and if we go into my device you will see the new ui which we have it is kind of boxy if you click on storage here it is again new ui in the building we can also go into battery and over there also you will see the new ui changes which we have in addition to this new ui and a complete overhaul at number four we have the new control center swipe from the left it is going to show you the notifications Swipe from the right, bam, here it is. You have your new control center in the building. Before you tell me, this looks very similar to iOS. Surprise, surprise. They copied Apple. And you do have new animations in the quick setting tiles. We just took a screenshot. You can enable your location, sync and everything, swipe down to get even more options. And if you click on the edit icon, you can add and remove tiles from the quick setting tiles as well once you are done click on done and bam there it is the new control center if you do not like it you can always disable it go into settings display status bar and disable the toggle to use the control center and now if I swipe down from the right there it is I have my old school quick setting tiles next up we have floating windows so open your recents on the top left you will see the option for floating windows if you want to edit you can click on the edit icon on the top right and these are all the available applications you can use once you're done with the editing click on done and now if I tap on the gallery here it is I have the gallery in a floating window press and hold on the top you can move it around and if you press and hold on the bottom right you can of course resize it and to dismiss it swipe up and that is going to dismiss the application there it is takes some practice to figure it out but it does work now before you ask me can you have multiple applications open in floating window well no that is not the case because if i go back into floating windows and i choose downloads the gallery application closed and we have the downloads application as a floating window now at number six we have dark mode 2.0 so go into settings display dark mode here it is enable the dark mode you can of course schedule it if you want you have advanced option for third-party applications and in case you want to adjust the contrast accordingly and automatically you have a toggle for that as well and of course you have a toggle to adjust the wallpaper brightness based on the ambient light in dark mode and all these options work absolutely fine Next up for AMOLED devices, we have always on display theming. Open the themes application, swipe all the way towards the left, go into always on display and bam, here it is. You can download all these free themes for your always on display and some of these themes do respond to the time of the day. Some of them respond to the weather of the day. So it is all dynamic. You can of course go back into themes, always on display, 
go into my account and then you can go into always on and here you will have the different always on display themes which you have downloaded and trust me some of them are pretty cool at number eight we have the super cool looking super wallpapers go into settings wallpaper we have a separate section for super wallpapers when you install miui 12 for the first time you might have to download them but once you have downloaded them and you apply them oh my god these look super awesome here it is mars the red planet unlock the device comes closer go to the home screen and bam here it is and do note it is responding to the time of the day as well at number nine we have privacy protection so you can go into settings and you have a separate and different menu for privacy protection here you can see your permission stats this is for location this is for contacts this is for your microphone this is for your storage and you can also enable permission notifications if you want to see the permission starts for all the applications click on all the apps and bam here it is a complete log of all the notifications and what app accessed what so google contacts sync was launched by contacts and storage at this specific time and of course you can also tap on the manage button on the top and that is going to let you manage the sensitive actions like what all apps are accessing the location you can choose that what has access to recording the audio you can control all of that from here and if you click on all permissions you can now you know control your permissions at a very minute level so it is nice to see xiaomi moving towards letting you control what information you share with what application then at number 10 we have the revamped weather application which is going to show you the weather in a dynamic way if there's some lightning in your area you will have lightning on your screen and then it does show you the five day forecast as well next up we have customizable camera ui so if you open the camera application click on the three bar menu on the top left you can see that right now our accent color is blue however if you go into settings and scroll down you can go into customize you can first of all configure your feature layout right you can rearrange that and if you go into colors let's try changing it to yellow click on apply and now if you see my accent color has changed to yellow so you can actually in a way now theme the camera application going back into settings and customize you can also choose the shutter sound you do have a toggle to disable the shutter sound but you can also choose from these four different options as well next up at number 12 we have the ai assistant for answering your calls so we can go into the phone application go into settings ai call assistant here it is you can choose either a male voice or a female voice to answer your calls both in incoming and outgoing mode in fact you can also record an audio which will be played as a greeting for incoming and outgoing calls both now this feature might be available only in china but it is present in miui 12 not sure if they're going to roll it out globally or not at number 13 we have changes in the messaging application so if you open the messaging application you will see that you do have a segregation for your regular messages which you get from your friends and then you have a tab for promotional so these are the advertising messages which you get so it is very nice of xiaomi to give you these two separate options so that you can either concentrate on your regular messages and when you have free time you can always tap on the promotional tab and get your promotional messages at number 14 we have new ui for the screen time application so if you go into settings screen time bam here it is you have a graph of the day you can of course set your daily screen limit as well you have the same option for weekly as well and you have the option of focus mode which was previously at the bottom you now have it right on top so either you can you know tap to try and see what focus mode is all about i don't want to try it right now in the middle of this video or you can choose to have the pre-configured 30 60 or 90 minutes of focus mode on if you do not like any of those options click on the plus sign and now you can enter a duration between 20 and 180 minutes
at number 15 we have video toolbox so you need to go into settings special features video toolbox make sure you enable video toolbox where do you want it and what all applications you want it enabled in i have enabled it in the gallery application bam swipe from the right hand side here it is video toolbox i can record my screen take a screenshot cast it open a floating window of messages application and that is about video toolbox other than that if you have a device with an unlocked bootloader previously when you used to boot up your device it would show unlocked at the bottom now you have a lock which is either locked or unlocked and it shows up on the top of your screen so there it is peeps those were the 15 new features which xiaomi added with me ui 12 now of course there might be some other features which i have missed and i do not claim to cover all the new features which xiaomi has added but i think we have covered the major features which xiaomi has added with me ui 12 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you